where are we at here, Wes? Anything? Uh, yeah, there's a question <clears throat> that you missed here. It says, uh, best lesson you learned from Howard Roberts? Oh. Well, I never took a lesson from Howard Roberts. I took from Mitch Holder, who took from Howard Roberts. who was kind of a protege of Howard Roberts. But I'll show you a lick that I learned of Howard's. Um, and it's playing a diminished scale. Okay, it's this lick here. So this would be around a A flat augmented uh, diminished. So it's. That's the lick. Uh, that's a neat little Howard Roberts diminished lick. Hmm. And then it resolves to C. Uh, is it time for another lesson for diminished lick number six since we're doing licks. So I've, I've, it's around a G7. A diminished chord is like a, a 13 with a flat 9. Uh, a diminished scale played against it brings out those tones. So a G diminished, A flat diminished, B diminished scale, D diminished, etc., etc. So here's a lick. Here's the first four notes, then. So first eight. So that goes like this. Then, all right, now I know you're confused. So here we go again. Is that chord going to resolve to a C chord? So so here's a here's a uh, check this out. Let me see here. If there's anything on here? All right, I'm just going to play this chord. Um, play this chord. Just a G7 sharp 9. Boy, that was terrible. God. Let's do that again. Okay. 
Remember that Howard Brewer lick? So you you know you can play that over any diminished sound or anything you want a diminished sound on any dominant chord you want a diminished sound. Did you also know you can use bits and pieces of it around a one chord? Let me show you. Here's a, here's a, a C major seven, right? So I could play C major 7, right? Or I could play part of the diminished and then do the C7. Again. When I do that, it's me referring back to the five chord. So even though the one chord is being played, okay. So you're. It's called uh, uh, re. Reaffirming the tonal center. Hi, Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for watching. And if you liked it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all the guitar videos I put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. And if you want to learn jazz, hey, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. You'll see the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.